welcome back. Keep watching for more travel mishaps and how we managed to avoid doing the one thing we really wanted to do. So this is day two. We're gonna go on a tour. Okay. Tulum. Tulum. In Tulum, you're gonna be with me roughly 40 minutes. No Mexican minutes, okay? 40 <laughs> minutes. To be fair, it was on my bucket list to see Mayan ruins, and Tulum was one of the last Mayan civilizations before the Spaniards came and took shit over. But deep in our hearts, we didn't want a history lesson. We just wanted to sit on this beautiful beach and look at the cerulean ways. And we did, for five minutes, until our tour guide called us back on the bus to head for the next archeological destination. So we packed our shit up and headed for Coba. Bees in the fertility chamber. Oh. 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 They practice the decapitation. Koba, that was legit cool. I'm talking ancient Mayan civilization, the kind where they play basketball with people's heads. And even though it was a little creepy, it was really awesome to see something that old. This is gonna be our fly ride. Hey. This is our taxi. <laughs> <laughs> In a nearby village, there's Granny making fresh tortillas. B, did you like the taco? Oh, so good. What was in it? Eggs, spinach, onion, and then their hot salsa, habanero, green habanero. Now the next part of the tour was one of the things I was looking forward to the most. We went to a sinkhole, otherwise known as a cenote, which is part of the freshwater underground river system in Mexico. Our tour took us to the Grand Cenote, which is the tourist trap of all the cenotes. It was crowded, and as Murphy's Law would have it, our camera ran out of battery. But I hope you can see how beautiful it was underwater. And that was pretty much how we shut down day two. On the following day, we took a ferry to Cozumel to do some snorkeling. Just arrived in Cozumel, and we're really fucking tired. Heading into Cozumel, the weather was not playing to our favor, but we were determined to go snorkeling, so in the cold water we went, and it was freezing. Besides that, there wasn't really much to see underwater. No cool, colorful fish, no sunken ships, nada. And to top it off, the tour we took put us in a part of Cozumel where there were no sandy beaches to lie upon. Well, at least there will always be tacos. I am loving habanero tacos already, okay? Came in one, it's called habanero tacos. And it's got swing chairs for bar stools. And it's got a drunk store. Drunk store. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we are finally laying out on the beach on our final full day in Playa del Carmen. <laughs> not happy. We made it, even though it was not at all how we had planned. So that night, we went to a local tourist trap with live music, and we ate, drank, danced, got hit on by some guy who may have been a drug lord, and rocked out with a guy with a tiny trumpet. Because when you're on vacation, there's nothing that a zero fucks attitude can't fix. You <laughs> don't even know. We're getting a churro, churro, churro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. No. <laughs> Well, Playa, I guess for now, this is the end of the line. But for better or for worse, it was an unforgettable time. I miss you, Playa. Because in the end, it's not about where you are or what you're doing. It's always about the company you keep. <laughs>